Hello everyone. So I wanted to talk about Little Big Planet and the future of the IP or lack thereof potentially because I never mentioned it on on this channel but this franchise means a lot to me. Played all of them of course, but the second game in particular kind of just consumed my childhood and it would really be a damn shame if Sony just completely dropped this franchise cuz I think it's incredible. And this isn't coming from the one and only Little Big Planet fan. No. There's quite a large community for this franchise that is still around today that want to see another entry in the franchise done right and the reason I say done right is because Little Big Planet 3 was a pretty big disappointment in a few ways but I'll get to that in a minute. So me and many others are specifically asking for a Little Big Planet game not Sackboy and I like Sackboy don't get me wrong it's a solid game and I really enjoyed it but it completely lacked the biggest and most identifying aspect of LBP which was the level creation or any kind of user generated content. Sackboy A Big Adventure was just strictly a platformer literally no user generated content whatsoever and I think that was a huge mistake because and this is just speculation I think Sackboy was a bit of an, of an experiment to kind of gauge whether people are still interested in Sackboy himself and maybe determine whether they should do an LBP4 or not again just speculation and so if that is the case then that's not really fair in my opinion because they'd be basing players interest in a franchise uh, with a game that entirely lacks the main attraction of the franchise that being the user generated content. And I know someone is going to bring this up so I'll just say it now. Dreams by Media Molecule does not scratch that itch either like not in the slightest actually in my opinion. See Dreams was just too open ended for me like it was cool and fun and all to see what people made but it could literally be anything like anything at all while Little Big Planet mostly stuck to the 2.5D platforming. Of course you had the levels that were completely and utterly different from core LBP gameplay but that was fine because those levels were like less than half of all the levels that were made. While in Dreams the levels were all over the place like I mean just by nature it was gonna be that way. So that's my problem with Dreams and why in my opinion it can't replace Little Big Planet at least in my eyes. And to be honest I don't think it was as much of a hit as Little Big Planet was. So I know Little Big Planet Planet was essentially handed off to Sumo Digital, but I don't think we should overlook the fact that we don't know what Media Molecule is doing after Dreams. They already announced last year that they, they're done with Dreams and like they're done supporting it. You can still make levels and stuff, they're just done supporting it and adding stuff and stuff like that. And I'd say it's safe to assume they're working on something else. And what an insane turn of events it would be if that was Little Big Planet. Just saying. I know that's probably very wishful thinking, but I don't think it's entirely out of the realm of possibility, especially if Sackboy proves to Sony that there's still interest in the character, combined with the fact that Sumo Digital fucking botched Little Big Planet 3 so hard. I can see Media Molecule just handling Little Big Planet again after that. So let let's get into why uh, I say Little Big Planet 3 was a disappointment and possibly killed the franchise if you want to be pessimistic about it. It's pretty simple really. I mean, Little Big Planet 3 was fundamentally actually a very good game. The game itself is fine but the problem was that it was completely and utterly broken and to some extent still is to this day they literally just gave up on fixing it which is just so disheartening because this game could have been incredible constant disconnects crashing save files being corrupted you name it it was just broken and back in 2013 i was like okay sumo digital has just killed this franchise and that may still be the case i'm not sure i don't want to be pessimistic about it but you got to say how it is but after sackboy i regained a bit of faith in sumo digital i must say so if they did revive lbp i'd hope to god that they don't make the same mistake twice because at that point if that fails that is the final nail in the coffin for this ip so what does lbp need to succeed if it did come back one thing i think it definitely needs though i don't know how plausible it is is for it to carry over everything from the previous game Games. Every LBP has done this, so it is like pivotal that they do this. Of course, I'd buy the game even if we all had to start from scratch, but that would suck. And the reason I say I'm not sure if it's plausible is because I imagine they'd have to update every texture in the entire franchise to a PS5 standard. And that sounds like a shitload of work, so I don't know if they'd be willing to do that necessarily. I mean, it'd be super weird if the game had these, had the beautiful visuals and textures of, Sa say, Sackboy, for example, and then all the old levels and stuff had PS3 textures. <laughs> Another thing I think is worth talking about is uh, the monetization. So they used to sell costumes and costume packs and also level creation kits. And I think 
that was it for monetization for the most part maybe i'm forgetting something but the costumes were extremely cheap like and i don't think the level creation kits were pricey either i mean we're talking like three or four dollars maximum for a costume and if you've played any live service game lately you'll know that those skins on like fortnite and shit sell for like 20 bucks sometimes so i hope they don't go that route because that would be overkill but i wouldn't be opposed to them raising the price by a small percentage just because we all know they won't remain as the prices we're used to in this day and age of gaming so we might as well get ready for that to be honest but to be real a full price game which is th this game definitely would be shouldn't be charging for anything really but that's just the time we live in unfortunately but honestly i don't mind paying a few bucks to get like a kratos skin or a spider-man skin or whatever i think that's perfectly fine personally as long as they don't go overboard with the prices so what are the chances of a new little big planet i don't know really but all i know is if i see a sack boy a big adventure 2 announced before little big planet 4 i will be very upset because i heard that sack boy sold at least a million copies and did pretty well so that's a very very good sign i think a new little big planet is very possible actually all things considered and i think we should be vocal about it too like let sony know that it's something we want it can't hurt to let them know we want it but yeah that's about it hoping for the best here time will tell hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time peace